Hey everyone, it's Jackov, and I'm here today with a new video for the channel. Today's video being a battle replay for The Last Alliance Total War. If you're new here, The Last Alliance Total War is a mod for Shogun 2 Total War, set in the second age of Middle Earth. Today's battle replay has been sent in by Ellen Enish, and is a clash between him leading an army of the Woodland Realm of Elves, against Illumi leading an army of Edelond. Both armies go into town. If you guys want to send any battle replays for me to cover, feel free to send them to my email, which is linked in my video and channel descriptions, as well as either over Discord, be it the Dawnless Days Discord server or the Last Alliance Total War Discord server, or now the Ice and Fire Total War Discord server. Any of those will do. All that said, I'm going to put this battle into slow motion and we'll check out the clash, which it seems has already started up very quickly. Over here, it seems, if we'll start by looking at the army here, We've got the Tower Waith North Guard, we've got Orofa leading his personal guard, and the Flower Crown Guard, we've got more over here of the North Guard, we've got the Beach Glaives and some, yeah, more Beach Glaives, so very mixed force over here. Over here we've got a force of, hidden in the trees, of more Borderlanders, so more Archers and more Grain Keepers, so they're Spearmen. Then it seems over here a force must have deployed straight into the middle of the Edelond army because we've got clan spearmen and deer riders who seem to have deployed right in the middle of them against the Galadrian march wardens. Uh, we've got the cavalry of the deer riders mounted on deers fighting. What an interesting place for a clash to have emerged. So yeah, battle straight from the very opening part of it. And then Amroth, the general of the faction, leading his men into a charge straight into the archers. So yeah, add to this band. So we've got the Galadrim March Warden, so stealth units. We've got the Galadrim Swan Lancers and more March Wardens. Yeah, interesting battle. And then over here, we've got the Deer Riders trying to contend with the mounted March Wardens. So yeah, what an interesting clash. Both armies deployed right into the worst place possible and smashed into one another. Which makes sense as both armies have guerrilla deployment for most of their units. So now the March Wardens are advancing but are being hammered down by the... I was going to say by the Elves, but they're all Elves. By the Woodland Realm Archers. Yeah, weird clash. And I want to hear this. What do you guys think is the reason for this war between both Elven Kingdoms? I don't know, maybe insult, perhaps, but that doesn't seem like a good enough reason for a war between elves. I don't know, whatever it is, maybe you guys let me know in the comments down below. I'd be interested in what you say. There goes the deer running for the hills. And the Galad uh, Galadrin, the Cinderin elves of the Woodland Realm are now advancing out of the trees. The beech glaives just being absolutely obliterated by a stream of arrows. So standing these guys here is just waiting for trouble. You've got to advance. The units will be worn apart. Love the whistling sound of those arrows. Like a third of the unit is down already. And the deer riders have clashed into the march wardens trying to run them down. And then the swan lancers have emerged to smash into them. Just a massive cluster of a battle over here. I love those swan shields though. And now the elves are... Well, now they're returning with fire arrows. We're going to set fire to the land over here. They can burn the forest down. It'll be good. But also, you know, kind of goes to show you how far the elves have gone from their peaceful ways when they're warring on each other with fire arrows of all things burning down sacred forests. Going in for another charge. Ah, no they're going for a charge, they've fallen back behind their lines, but then they're charging into the March Wardens. So it's two ambush armies. Well an ambush army and a less ambushy army. Clashing over here. Cavalry smashes right into the archers. Swan Lance is causing a lot of damage here. But the uh, Tower Waith Beach Glaives are running in to try and support their archers. 
I like this battle a lot. I like how free flowing it is. Infantry advancing over here. The larger spearmen in clashing with the borderlanders. More spearmen just running in. I like the more drab look of these elves. Gives them a bit of a unique look. Cavalry swinging aside. So they've got one massive column here in the center. It's being a hit on all sides. And over here, you've just got the fighting being stretched out underneath the trees. With deer riders getting intermixed with heavy mount mountain march wardens. Just seeing how even from this you can tell that the Galadrim forces of Edelond are a bit more advanced than the spearmen of the Woodland Realm. Archers have gone into in the front lines just opening fire as much as they can. Over here it seems like the cavalry is taking a beating. But then both sides cavalry <laughs> seems to be taking a beating so I could honestly go either way. There is a cavalry when you're on deer. Or does that go by a different name? Is it I know moosery is something, which is when you ride mooses and camelry is when you ride camels. Is it deer when you ride deers? D or V or something like that, who knows? Doesn't make enough words as so I go here at this point. Yeah, the beach claves are doing well because they're a good unit to fight cavalry with. Cavalry's pulling over here just to smash into the deer riders. Over here in the center of the line, the Erin Galen forces, Erin Garland forces aren't doing that well. Mutual KO over there. Borderlanders coming up in support. I love it, it's wielding longbows pretty much at close range. Over here, North Guard aren't doing too well. Against the Galadrim Swarnen, which I think are their light infantry, if I remember correctly. Hatchet to the neck, or to the chest, I should say. Cavalry smashed into the archers, trying to cause as much damage as possible, but they're the North Guard, who double as shock infantry, so they're doing something. And then the rest of the army swinging up to catch out this cavalry. So I'd say over here, Olafur and his men have won. And now all that's left is to pin down and destroy the remainder of the army of Edelond. Who are fighting more as individual units in a sea of, of enemy elves. And there comes Olafur, charging in with his boys. And Amroth and his men are slaughtered to the last man, it seems. Given there's only two men left in the unit, they're still there for standing strong. Not for long, but still. Sworn in a run down by cavalry, and now, now it seems that the uh, men of Edelond are going to be swarmed. This is this is just a sandwich of infantry. You've got the sworn in here, then you've got the beach claves, then you've got more glad from spearmen, then you've got more spearmen, then you've got more more 
Aaron Dale enforces that. It's not really a battle at that point, it's just a brawl. <laughs> I love that, the singular cavalryman trying to hold his ground against enemy army. Or this massive horde that swings around and takes their spearmen in the rear. And with their flanks gone, yeah, things aren't looking too good for the uh, for the archers. And just like that, looks like it's a win for Aaron Garland. A costly victory. I I don't even know if it was a uh, probably a costly victory, but still. End the battle now. We'll check out how both armies did. I think that's Tira. Very good looking unit too. I like just how textured it is. Yeah, it's interesting that. What could have caused those two factions to go to war? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I can't really think of a reason for it. Could be treasure, given that Thranduil likes to wage war over treasure. Could see it being something like that. But yeah. Okay, looking at the armies, Ellen Anish's force was a uh, about 500 men larger. Both sides took similar casualties, although I'd say Illumi's suffered more. Look at the unit statistics. Olafur and his men suffered one loss, killed 71. Northgard killed 145 kills, lost to 42. That's very good. Took 87 deaths, but most of the unit died. Not so good. Borderlanders more or less got even in terms of kills and deaths, so not great, not horrible. These Borderlanders suffered way more deaths than they did casualties, so pretty bad there. Same thing for these guys, that's a horrible kill to death ratio. These guys did pretty good, only suffering 22, killing 94. Deer Riders did great, getting 217 kills. Other one got 216 kills, very good there. Other one got 87, other one got 97 deaths. Take 60 kills, not as good. Green Spears got 71 kills, 60 deaths, not too bad. Other one, not too bad either. In general, not too bad for the Green Spears. Like, they could have done a lot better, but they could have done way, way worse. The Beach Glaives, amazing. 108 dead for 269 kills, fantastic. 164 kills for the other unit, that's great too. The other unit did horrible, suffering 180 deaths almost at the loss for 60 kills. That's not good. Clan Spearmen, not too good either. Most of that unit dying. Yeah, so Clan Spearmen didn't do too good all around. They suffered way more than they dealt out. But in general, Orofa's force did pretty good. Looking at Illumi and the Dol Amroth force, uh, or Edelon force, Swan Guard, they did badly. They only got 34 kills at the loss of almost all the unit. Swan Lance has got 183 kills, very good. The other one got 98 kills. They got more than they suffered, but could have been a lot more, especially given how integral heavy cavalry is to the faction. March Wardens, 81 kills, 82 kills, 55 kills, 75. All their March Wardens did horrible, suffering way, way more casualties. Mounted March Wardens did horribly too. I mean, this one got 96, which isn't too bad, but the other one did very badly. The whole unit being exterminated for only 46 kills. The Galadrim Spearmen, they were a mixed bag. Some of them did pretty good, like these two. The other two did pretty badly. And the Galadrim Sworn In, they, yeah, again, mixed bag. One was almost destroyed for only 100 kills with their name. Another one killed more than they suffered. Another one killed almost 200 units. So the Galadrim were very much a mixed bag as a faction, more or less. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really did. If you guys did, please like and subscribe. Make your thoughts known in the comments. Every little bit of interaction with the videos counts to make it that much bigger. I really do wish to make the channel grow, and we need you guys to help it grow. Again, so if you guys liked it, like and subscribe. Rest assured, more videos will be coming out in the near future for the channel. Uh, a lot of mods have updated recently, so there's a lot of content for me to cover. And because I've been recovering from a head surgery that's kept me out of it, uh, I'm more than eager to get back into everything. Anyways, guys, this is your host, Jackov, signing out.